When we ask ourselves, what have we gained so far and where will we go? We think of the many moments that comprise our four years. We think of the friends, the tears, the laughter, and the celebrations. You have all faced down a pandemic with strength and courage and resilience. In class of 2021, that means you can accomplish anything. Dickinson has helped me learn that there's no such thing as perfection or a straight path. That there's always more culture and lessons I can learn to help better mine or someone else's life. Dickinson's interdisciplinary education helped me learn how to better understand complex problems that plague the world. Now, we leave Dickinson as engaged citizens, as people who know how to respectfully get along with others, how to think for ourselves, and how to trust our gut. Dickinson prepared us for what's to come, but it's up to us to recognize that we can continue to learn, continue to pursue our passions, and continue to make our Dickinson education ours wherever we may be. Class of 2021, congratulations. Welcome to the virtual celebration for the Class of 2021. While we can't all be together today on campus, you are now and always will be a Dickinsonian. You have the knowledge and skills the world needs right now. Right now at this critical moment in history. Make sure you use your useful education in the liberal arts to work for the common good. Stay engaged and connected. Let us know about your adventures and your achievements throughout your life. Take advantage of the vast and wonderful Dickinson Network and do your part when you can to give back to those who will follow you as well. As we did during the graduate recognition ceremonies, let's pause and remember the life of Jeffrey Gabriel, who will always remain a cherished member of the class of 2021. It was a real privilege to present Jeff's family with his posthumous degree during our graduate recognition ceremonies last week. And now I invite you to enjoy our virtual commencement celebration. Congratulations, class of 2021. Today I have the great pleasure of recognizing a group of Dickinson graduates who have attained the highest academic achievement that is possible for undergraduate students. Since its founding in 1776, Phi Beta Kappa has been the most prestigious and selective of the intellectual honor societies in America. Each year, nationwide, only 1% of college graduates are inducted into the society. Our inductees join the ranks of a very impressive group, including 17 U.S. presidents, 40 U.S. Supreme Court justices and leaders across literally every field. All of our members have one thing in common, their rigorous pursuit of excellence in the arts and sciences. The students recognized as our newest inductees have demonstrated exceptional academic achievement and good moral character. They arrived at this point with intellectual discipline, a hunger to explore, and a passion for their major field of study. But our election of these students is not simply a recognition of past achievements. The society asks more of them, and we have seen more in them, than even what they have accomplished so far. Phi Beta Kappa is dedicated to the principles of freedom of inquiry and liberty of thought and expression. We expect our inductees to honor their education by supporting the values of the liberal arts and to continue asking deep, beautiful questions as they expand their stories.
Hello, my name is Maggie Wilson, and it is my privilege as president of the class of 2021 to announce the 53rd recipient of the Constance and Rose Gano Memorial Award. This award is to be given to a professor at Dickinson who, by secret ballot of the members of the senior class, shall be voted the most inspirational teacher during their college experience. It is with great appreciation and genuine respect that I announce the 2021 Gano Award recipient is Associate Professor of International Business and Management, Helen Takis. Congratulations. It is now my honor to announce the recipients of three awards to outstanding seniors. The James Fowler Rustling Prize is awarded to a graduating senior for excellent scholarly achievement. The John Patton Memorial Prize is awarded to a senior with high scholastic standing. The William F. Hufstetter Senior Prizes are annually awarded to two seniors who in the judgment of the president of the college have made the greatest contribution to the good of the college during their undergraduate years. Congratulations to this year's recipients. Hello, I'm John Jones, class of 1977. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to announce the Young Alumni Trustee from the class of 2021. Each year, a member of the graduating class is elected to serve a two-year term as a member of the Board of Trustees with full voice and vote. We all agree that the perspective of recent graduates has been incredibly valuable in our work. After a comprehensive application and interview process, the Board's Committee on Trustees put forward one name from the senior class and that person was elected by the full board. Now, as Chair of the Board of Trustees, I am so pleased to announce that the Class of 2021 Young Alumni Trustee is Joanne Adebayo. Congratulations, Joanne, and congratulations to the entire Class of 2021. Welcome to the alumni community. I'm Espoir Delmain, and I'm so glad to be here graduating today with so many of you. I want to say thank you for all the hours of work, endless days, flashes of clarity, and supportive communities that have brought us here to this moment. It is my sincere joy to introduce Varshini Prakash, the awardee for this year's Sam Rose and Julie Walters Prize for Global Environmental Activism at Dickinson College. The prize was created by Julie and Sam as a way to bring attention to the necessity of reducing the impact humans put on our planet. By supporting and endowing this prize, they are ensuring education continues to live up to its task of cultivating responsibility and protecting all life. In the last five years, I have seen the work Varshini and the Sunrise Movement take shape and give a new role to young people in the climate justice realm. This work has given me and thousands of other young people a role model for building power, inspiration, hope, energy, and momentum to reclaiming the power we have to determine our futures. Throughout my time organizing on campus, I have had the opportunity to bring people from Sunrise, the organization our awardee co-founded, onto campus and bring campaigns and tools developed by them to life as well. Since attending a UN climate conference in Bonn, Germany, my freshman year, I have seen and celebrated Varshini Prakash for her creativity as an incredible leader, global climate justice activist, and organizer. Since her college days, she has been an incredible voice in the movement and has created a cultural precedent for young people to continue to take back as well as pass the mic to frontline communities in determining how we can reclaim a livable future within our lifetimes. Hello, thank you so much to Espoir for introducing me and for all your great work and a huge congratulations to all of you who are graduating. I know the last year has been incredibly weird and challenging, but don't let this take away your shine and all of your accomplishments. 
Um, I am so humbled and grateful to be receiving this prize on behalf of Sunrise and the thousands of young people who work hard every day to stop the climate crisis and create millions of good jobs in the process. Thank you to Sam Rose and Julie Walters for establishing this prize at Dickinson. And this prize is gonna allow Sunrise to recruit and train and organize thousands more young people to fight for a good job for every person who needs one, doing the critical work of averting climate catastrophe. We'll push Congress and our president to invest trillions of dollars over the next decade, create 15 million good jobs, ending pollution, protecting and restoring wetlands and forests, growing food sustainably on family farms, expanding manufacturing of clean technology, replacing millions of miles of water pipelines, setting clean energy standards for our power sector and transportation and buildings and more. So thank you. And I am so excited to meet and work with Dickinson students when I come in next year. Congratulations, y'all, and, and good luck out in the world. I'm Muhammad Burhan, and on the behalf of Beard Fellows Class of 2021, Congratulations! We did it! David McCormick. Your career is distinguished by an enduring commitment to service and global citizenship, two values that Dickinsonians hold dear. You were born in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, attended college at West Point, and earned a doctorate in international education at Princeton University. As a young army officer in the first Gulf War, you learned what it means to lead in service of a larger cause. After forging an innovative career path as a technology consultant and entrepreneur, you were again called to serve your country, this time in answer to a call by President George W. Bush. As part of the Bush administration, you served as the U.S. Treasury's Undersecretary of Commerce for Industry and Security and as Undersecretary for International Affairs. You were the nation's top economic diplomat during the global financial crisis. You also held senior roles in the Bush administration's National Security Council and Department of Commerce, overseeing US global security, policy making, regulatory, and law enforcement activities. As Deputy National Secretary Advisor for International Economic Policy, you were the lead negotiator for the Group of Eight Industrialized Countries. Now, you are CEO of Bridgewater Associates, one of the world's largest investment firms. You also serve as trustee for the Hospital for Special Surgery and the Aspen Institute, and as chair of the Atlantic Council's International Advisory Board. Last year, during a live-streamed Dickinson lecture, you shared that you find a profound sense of meaning in your work both in the public and private sectors. For you, leadership is grounded in a deep feeling of responsibility toward those you lead and serve, and in a keen sense of civic duty and global citizenship. President Ensign, for his thoughtful leadership in government and international business, for his lifelong commitment to national and global citizenship, and for his contributions to international affairs at the highest levels of government, I am proud to present David McCormick as a candidate for an honorary degree in international affairs. Esther Benjamin, you have embarked on a remarkable journey from your beginnings in a small village in northern Sri Lanka to working in the White House under two US presidents to leading impactful programs in 100 countries and more. You have successfully bridged gaps among regions, countries, organizations, and sectors to create life-changing economic and educational opportunities all around the world. You immigrated to the United States as a child and earned bachelor's degrees in political science and English from North Central College and advanced degrees in applied economics and international affairs from American University. That interdisciplinary education laid a foundation for a far-reaching tri-sector career. Currently, as CEO of World Education Services, you help international students 
immigrants, and refugees achieve their educational and career goals in the United States and Canada. Previously, you were CEO for African Operations and Senior Vice President for Global Public Affairs at Laureate Education. You have served in President Barack Obama's administration as Associate Director for Global Operations for the Peace Corps, and you were earlier appointed by President Bill Clinton as a White House Fellow. You have held senior management roles with the International Youth Foundation, served as a United Nations Humanitarian Affairs Officer, and worked with the Brookings Institution. You are also a board member of Echoing Green, Seed Global Health, and North Central College, and you serve on the advisory boards of Game Denmark and the American University's School of International Service. You've often said that to drive long-term humanitarian-centered change, we must connect the dots among issues and sectors and view complex problems through multiple lenses. This is the essence of a liberal arts education. President Ensign, a recognition of the lives she has transformed globally through the power of education and economic opportunity, and for her living embodiment of global, lifelong, and interdisciplinary education, I am proud to present Esser T. Benjamin as a candidate for an honorary degree in international education. Eric Holder, you have devoted your life to building a more inclusive, more just, and more perfect union by upholding equal justice under the law. You are the grandson of a civil rights activist and son of a Barbadian immigrant veteran who faced post-war discrimination. Inspired by the leaders of the US Civil Rights Movement and intrigued by Robert Kennedy's work in the Department of Justice, you determined the law was your best avenue to effect positive change. After earning a degree from Columbia University Law School, you entered the Department of Justice. During the decades that followed, you worked under six presidents from both political parties. For 12 years, you fought corruption as a prosecutor in the DOJ's public integrity section. In 1988, President Ronald Reagan nominated you a DC Superior Court judge. You were elevated to US Attorney for the District of Columbia in 1993. Four years later, under President Bill Clinton, you became the nation's first African-American Deputy Attor Attorney General. You were confirmed by a 100 to zero Senate vote. Nigh unto unthinkable nowadays. In 2012, President Barack Obama appointed you the nation's first African-American Attorney General. After serving in that history-making role, you rejoined private practice at Covington and Burling LLP. In these positions, you have combated corruption, criminal activity, terrorism, and discriminatory immigration laws. You have fought for voting rights, criminal justice reform, antitrust enforcement, and environmental protection. As Attorney General, you logged a record number of prosecutions for human trafficking and hate crimes, and opened the door to federal recognition of same-sex marriages. In 2014, you were named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People for your tire tireless work for human rights. As President Obama has said, your work is driven by, and this is a quote, a deep conviction that justice is not just an abstract theory, it's a living and breathing principle. President Ensign, for his unwavering commitment to equal justice and the rule of law, and for his trailblazing and significant contribution to human rights, I am proud to present Eric Holder, Jr. as a candidate for the honorary degree of Justice Administration. President Ensign. David McCormick, Esther Benjamin, and our commencement speaker, Eric Holder. Upon the recommendation of the faculty, to the Board of Trustees and by its mandamus, I confer upon each of you your respective degrees, honoris causa, with all the rights, privileges, and distinction thereunto appertaining, 
in token of which I present each of you with a diploma and the hood of Dickinson College appropriate to your degree. Congratulations and thanks for your outstanding leadership. Thank you all, faculty and staff, friends and relatives, members of the broader Dickinson family for inviting me to celebrate with you today. And thank you so much for the honorary degree. Let, let's start from the beginning. Congratulations, class of 2021. In a time of uncertainty and loss, it's wonderful to share in such a joyful occasion with all of you. Now, I, I'm willing to bet this wasn't quite how you pictured your graduation. But as much as I'd like to rather be with you all in person, the truth is that these circumstances, the trying and tragic year that we've had, the unsettled world that you're graduating into, you know, all the reasons that we can't be together are the same things that mark the class of 2021 for greatness. Now, look, I know you didn't sign up for this, you know, to put it mildly, but the timing of your graduation, the fact that 2021 is the year printed on that very expensive piece of paper will define your generation's place in history. And make no mistake, graduates, history is watching. Rarely ever, and certainly never in my lifetime, have we faced you know, a moment like this one, a time of global crisis and American estrangement, a nation too often divided against itself, riven by intentional lies, distorted by intolerance and mistrust, a world beset by challenges old and new, from armed conflict to, to climate change that, that threatened the international order, the strength of all free and open societies, even, in the, even the future of humanity itself. But the question that looms over everything in this moment, and the one I invite you to focus on today, is what our countries, our societies, our new normal will look like as, as you leave Dickinson and step into an uncharted future and take charge of a world that's never really gonna be the same. Now, what's at stake in this moment, and this is your moment, is the fundamental character of this nation, the promise of democracy itself, and the interconnected fates of all open societies around the world. Will we emerge from this pandemic stronger and more united or weaker and more divided? Can we engage in constructive dialogue about the, the hardest issues like injustice, race, and policing? Can we stem a rising tide of hatred and extremist groups and hold our would-be leaders accountable when they fan the flames of xenophobia? Or will we keep descending into to separate echo chambers, growing more and more fractured against ourselves? Look, as we rebuild our economy, will we race back to the same old ways of doing business that have supercharged inequality, both here in the United States and across the globe? Or can we reimagine and adapt in pursuit of better new collar jobs, increased economic security, and a more inclusive model of prosperity. And most fundamentally, from the ashes of today's scorched earth politics, can we transform government and civil society to be more responsive, more mutually respectful, and more representative of the populations that they serve? Or will voter suppression, gerrymandering, and conspiracy theories pave the way to a darker and less democratic future? Graduates, I wanna be very clear. These questions are not rhetorical. No outcome is foreordained. And this isn't, this isn't a thought experiment. It is your breathtaking opportunity. You know, rarely in human history has a generation been called upon to, to reimagine and to rebuild so much of our society at such scale. So, so class of 2021, I'm not asking you to speculate about the future starting right this moment. It is your responsibility to shape it. And fortunately for you, this great institution has already equipped you with values, experiences, and tools to shape that future. Take Dickinson's Carline Community Action Network, for example. It has shown our country, the world, and all of you what it means to bring together community leaders and activists to solve urgent and emerging community issues, to share vital information and resources in real time and to proactively address the local impact of national issues such as systemic racism, food, job, and housing insecurities, political divisiveness, and this pandemic. Or take Dickinson's longstanding commitment to promoting equity and equality. 
This school has challenged all of you to intentionally develop your intercultural competency, whether it's by requiring you to learn a language in addition to your primary language, to complete a course whose content is not based on Western thought, and to complete one that focuses on the diversity within the United States, or to take advantage of its numerous study abroad programs. Or take Dickinson's leadership on sustainability education, actively engaging all of you to advocate for and take action on climate change. Now, these are just some of the lessons that this institution has imparted to you. And whether you have consciously internalized them or not, these are the lessons that shape you as individuals that will imbue you with your drive and your passions and that will take you forward as you shape the future. And before you know it, and trust me, it will feel like the blink of an eye. You'll be CEOs and mayors, entrepreneurs and nonprofit leaders. You'll be legislators, civic leaders, community activists and, and politicians. None of this is out of reach because Dickinson graduates, your predecessors have gone on to do so many of these things and not a single one of them was any more qualified or better prepared than you are today. What will the class of 2021 contribute to this legacy? What will you achieve that earlier generations could scarcely imagine? You know, I, uh, I said a moment ago that you didn't sign up for this, but we all know that that's not quite true. No one could have foreseen the confluence of crises that have defined your time at Dickinson. But, but, he, but here's the thing, class of, of 2021, extraordinary times produce extraordinary people. The fact that you chose to enroll in one of the world's preeminent colleges and that you're now graduating into this crucible means that you're right where you belong and right where we need your energy, your ideas, your leadership the most. So graduates, I look forward to all that you will do and achieve from this moment on. Our nation, our world is, is counting on you. I am counting on you. So congratulations once again, Godspeed and best of luck class of 2021. Now get out there and change the world. On my own behalf and behalf of the faculty, extend my congratulations to the members of the class of 2021, all here over the course of the day together, all tested negatively, which in academia is not always a good thing, but today absolutely is. No one in quarantine, so everyone's here. And so it's with... <laughs> it's with great pleasure that I present to President Ensign the healthy class of 2021 for the conferral of their degrees. Kristen Jane Akusala. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her sister, Catherine Rose Akasella, class of 2016. Diego Alonso. Robert David Ambrose, Jr. Alia Angela Rueda Aquino. Nua Isabella Araki. Catherine Bilodeau. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her mother, Serena Pack, class of 1989. Aidan Peter Berth. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his brother, Brendan Berth, class of 2016. Erica Windle Blows. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her aunt, Suzanne Tierney, class of 1993. Jose Eduardo Bolianos. <laughs> Abigail Jordan Brickler. <laughs> C. 
Sari Canada Brown. Odin Quinn Bulas. Hannah Kerr Butler. Tyler Jeffrey Caballero. Catherine Elizabeth Campbell. Zane Irshad Carey. Eve Shurest. Anthony Joseph Sassini, Jr. Luke Gavigan Semino. Jack Xavier Semino. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his brother Luke Semino, class of 2020. Alexander L. Cohen. Henry Daniel Cordesco. Mark Stroud Cor the Fifth. William Stewart Critchfield the Third. Christopher Carl Del Sandro. Skyler Aaron Devitt. Liana Dogby. Madeline Margaret Dombrowski. Matthew James Donnelly. Michael Angelo Dubrovsky. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his brother, Peter Dubrovsky, yes, class of 2020. Odessa Rose Elmore. Zulbo Erdenbator. Catherine Ann Erfley. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her mother, Laura Erfley, class of 1991, and her father, Stephen Erfley, a member of the Dickinson College faculty. Jake Evangelista. Marissa Fabo. Lauren Page Ann Feldman. Sergey I. Gulego. Phoebe Joel. Galeon. Jake Randall Geddes. Scott Brenner Gelman. Alexander Shiva Gayama Ume. Emma Louise Godfrey. Kyle Anton Granai. Bridget Marie Gutpellet. Jordan Alexander Haber. Carl D. Hamilton III. Kayla Marie Harney. Andrew James Healy. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his brother Tim Healy, class of 29. Ashley Jeanette 
Hayton. Max Avery Herman. Amani Samaj Holder. Greta Shepherd Holt. Su Min Hong. Claire Elizabeth Janzer. Emma Lauren Johnston. Holly Paige Jones. Jacob Matthew Kaufhold. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his mother, Stacy Bartels, class of 1985. Rebecca Lynn Kearns. Caitlin Anyas Kiefer. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her father, Brian Kiefer, class of 1985. Audrey Kalisha. Rollin White King III. Matthew J. Ness. Nate Kurzawa. Connor Luis Langan. Marie Grace Laverdier. Skyler Francois Addison Leff. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his sister, Alexandra Leff, class of 2019. Jordan Amanda Lavan Dusky. Austin Gardner Lipscomb. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his brother, Travis Liscomb, class of 2017. <laughs> Veronica Loria Soto. <laughs> Amelia Kelly Lufrano. <laughs> Charles Benjamin Luparello. Patrick McAndrew Mangan. Caitlin Eileen Manning. Christopher David Matthews. Mackenzie Lynn Maurer. Maggie Elizabeth McConney. Sarah Shawmian Mar Morgan. Leandra Audrey Darina Mukudu Njoko. Emma Kate Nedarastek. Matthew Robert Nusslein. <laughs> Beverly Claire Adobe Okodu. <laughs> Henry Andrew Alry. <laughs> Eric Tyler Palermo. Sarah Elizabeth Parson. Danielle Renee Paz Vega. Brendan J. Pell.
Bryce McLean Parrott. Chad Pingator. Hannah Emily Pozenchek. Hayden Elise Pozenchek. Avery Elizabeth Priest. Brandon Chu. Alejandro Ramirez. Edward John Reddington II. Connor Harrison Ringwald. Olivia Ann Reardon. Maximiliano Merced Rios. Alejandro Rodriguez. Maxwell William Ross. Arjun Rupaketti. Casper Tomas Rezemplok. Kira Lynn Samoni. Elizabeth Sarah Schlurf. Jennings Alexander Schweitzer. Julia May Siebold. Julianne Rose Sazinski. Benjamin Aaron Sobel. Olivia Marguerite Spildoren. Duncan Campbell Gibbon Spilsbury. Jessica May Stromer. Nathan Stull. Natalie Marie Cease. Lauren Nicole Cease. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her sister, Natalie Cease, class of 2020. Benjamin David Sutton. Andrew Christopher Tartaro. Dante Angelo Suyosa Tarzona. J. Bahadur Thapa. Shelby Ting. Vincent Gilbert Tovar Diaz. Lori Madeline Travo Travulini, sorry. Michael Jake Tracoli. Elizabeth Barbara Sense Trost. Samantha Alexis Tervalik. Catherine Genevieve Ville. Olivia Frances Voller. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her mother, Melissa Voller, class of 1992. Joseph Robert Volpe. Alan Roper Walters. Nija Lisa Werner. Samantha Ray 
Werner. Freya Whitaker. Kareem Jacques Williams. Rachel Christine Witch. Sophie Hannah Ackert. Joanne Ayomide Abayo. Rebecca Margaret Agababian. Phoebe Mizuki Akaba Kubel. Kylie Nicole Albertson. Madeline Hannah Albro. Kristen Marie Algayer. Jesse Jinsuo Anker. Heba Awad. James Barrett. Emily Elizabeth Benson. Scout Meredith Best. Daniela Borrero. Kishon Tyreek Bostick. Gabrielle Elizabeth Bralt. Neve Catherine Brennan. Jaden May Brick. William Dolan Brock. Olivia Marielle Brown. Sheldon A. Brown. Jack Henry Buck. <laughs> Mohammed Burhan. Sarah Elizabeth Burke. Valerie Brielle Bush. Philip E. Butler, Jr. <laughs> Fabian Francisco Cabrera. <laughs> Tyler Austin Catania. <laughs> Libby Moritz Cohen. Peter Kenneth Cook, Jr. Tenzin Louise Crowley. Rachel Elizabeth Cerna. Tara Nicole D. 
Dedrickson. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her sister, Kirsten Dedrickson, class of 2015. Espoir Anderson Delmaine. Ryan Vincent Devine. Natasha Aurora D. Chenta. Alexandra Catherine Diaz. Kayla Elizabeth Dobbins. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her mother, Jennifer Dobbins, a member of the Dickinson College staff. Kara Elizabeth Doherty. Sydney Donahue Dumont. Thomas Michael Dunn III. Taylor Korb Einan. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his father, Matthew Einan, class of 1989. Colin Michael Fagan. Gabriella Kimberly Farrell. Alexandra Fiona Fosbury. Sabrina Elizabeth Frost. Simone Brevere Geary. Michael Thomas Giorgio. Sydney Alexa Gilkey. Hill Benton Goborn. Carly Alexandra Goldstein. Emily Margaret Greaves. Sarah Elizabeth Green. Annalee Reed Greenspawn. Hannah Margaret Griffith. Eleanor Kate Harris. Melanie Alexandra Herbeck. Jennifer Hughes. Abigail Lee Hyde. Elizabeth Ann Emfong. Kellyia Infante Cruz. William Henry Jerosic. Bruno Caboy. Javiel Carenzi. Anna 
Elena Antonova Karlova. Prableen Kaur. Nicholas Bosley Merriman Kemp III. Mariam Khalil. Maisara Umaz Khan. Caitlin Kayo Kirchberg. Michaela Grace Kitchen. Sophie Johanna Andre Kivlahan. <laughs> Stephanie Rose Klein. <laughs> Dalit Horowitz Kluger. <laughs> Anna Lynn Kogut. Sivan Komatsu. Mora Ann Koob. Tyler James Corsa. Valerie Elaine Kupak. George Maxwell Ladner. Rose Sarah Lang Zalf. Emma McCoy Larson Whitaker. Yuna Jongyeon Lee. Ariel Chi Levin Antola. Jessler Lino Martinez. Madison Grace Littlepage. Ian Harry Logan. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his uncle, Kurt Walton, class of 1982. Christopher John Longo. Tatiana Cristina Lopez Camacho. <laughs> Joshua Michael Lovett. <laughs> Hallie Mayumi Mieda. Joanna Grace Meyer. Claudia Rose Myra. Titus Daniel Manetta. Berenice Guadalupe Manriquez. Vladimir Alexandrov Markov. <laughs> Sophie Allen Martin. <laughs> Julian Lane Ulysse Mucler.
Austin Bryce McCoy. Gabrielle Elise McGinty. Caitlin Mary McNulty. Nora Kathleen Mitchell. Zachary Charles Mooney. Trent Connor Morgan. Lucian Xavier Nicosia. Catherine Ann Nolan. Maisie Jane Ober. Robin Abisola Okunoa. Jessica Iris Oren. Zoe Michaela Papernick. Lucille Evelyn Papil. Amanda Marie Parker. Elizabeth Mason Parry. Liam Robert Pauley. <laughs> Hannah Marie Peck. <laughs> Anne Beatrice Pendleton. <laughs> Benjamin N. Plocker. Phoebe Morgan Prettyman. Evie Dawson Priestman. Rachel Elana Prince. Robert Kamen Pyle. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his father, Mark Pyle, class of 1976. Crystal Amethyst Ramirez. Victoria Ramos. Dulce Alexandra Magavern Reinhardt. Jasmine Kiara Reyes Foster. Jackson Andrew Rhodes. Marisabel Rivera Arroyo. Alexander Klein Rollins. Caitlin Melissa Rooney. Hannah Elizabeth Ropp. Matthew Taft Rossi. Emma Claire Rudnick.
Isabel Grace Ruff. William Hurley Ryan III. Sebastian B. Santoro. Shelby Grace Scarborough. Rachel Emma Shaw. Jordan Mira Schwartz. Maximilian John Swetchy. Christina M. Semivolos. Kylie Grace Shalala. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her uncle, Charles Henneberry, class of 1993. Abigail Elizabeth Shannon. Shagun Sharma. Kate Belden Shepherd. Ryan Z. Showman. Jamie Rose Singer. Kiana Imani Smith. Kiara Nisa Smith. Madeline Miles Smith. Amy Lynn Soba. Sarah G. Soba. Aya Sobi. Ivan Victor Somoff. Marguerite Spirit Jones. Amanda Margaret Stober. Austin George Stockdale. Samantha K. Stone. Ruby Nile Stricker. Rose Eliana Sweetwood. Sakira Leslie Thomas. Shantae Toledo. Yasmin Sofia Torcios Callegas. Alexandra Lila Timku. Anne Garland Yulian. Lillianne Gabriella Fife. Sean Peter Vols. Monet C. Walker. Woo! 
Julia Elizabeth Walsh. Elizabeth Violet Ward. Nina Audrey Ward. Bridget Lee Williams. Eleanor A. Williams. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her sister, Michaela Williams, class of 2018. Jakira Octavia Williams. Reuben Daniel Winston. Calvin Gregory Werfel. Jenna Lee Wiley. Macy McNair Young. Victoria Velasnidnova Zam Zamova. <laughs> Madison Lee Zagir. <laughs> Lillian Emma Zeitlin. Yasmin Abdulhamid. <laughs> Helen Susanna Alexander. <laughs> Moiz Amjad. <laughs> Devon Mackenzie Anderson. Melanie Elise Bain. <laughs> Catherine Sarah Barter. <laughs> Tomas Bascolo. <laughs> Gianni Matteo Bece Mendoza. Genevieve Christine Beck. Bisrat Samson Berhe. Nina Jessica Bethel. Grayson Danielle Bird. Matthew James Brodnitz. <laughs> Lee Nwok Bui. <laughs> Bryant Caballero. <laughs> Naomi Yasmin. Capellan, Elise Nicole Castelli, Kevin George Daniel, Amelia Kale Deering, Chandler Michelle. Dennis. 
Molly Catherine Diggins. Elaine Grace Drigotas. Nyok Khan Yong. Kishana Edwards. Jody Julia Efron. Gita Langbaum, <laughs> Ernest and Tise, <laughs> Sydney Jane Ash, <laughs> Nathaniel. Mualem Fetene. Sarah Sultan Suleiman Gamo. Brianna Marie Vigilante Gisaman. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her sister, Danielle Vigilante Webb, class of 2003, and her brother-in-law, Robert Webb, class of 2005. Clara Catherine Georges. Benjamin Arnold Gold. Ella M. Goldman. Christopher William Harrison. Mitchell Jordan Hatter. Peter John Hogan. Maximilian Hart Blair Jacobs. <laughs> Eugene Jung. <laughs> Alexandra Janice Johns. <laughs> Brian Caffley. Kristen Lois Kim. <laughs> Mohammed Kuruma. <laughs> Dylan Meadows Lee. <laughs> Alexandra Lever. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his grandmother, Carolyn Crawford, class of 1962. <laughs> Layla Diane Lindsay. <laughs> Preston Charles McLean. Mohammed Shayan Malik. Julie Elizabeth Mancini. Hunter Ross Mauder. Matei George Mares. Rebecca Marie Maslanka. Yeah. Emily Rose McFerrin. Yeah. Laura A. McNevin. 
Madison Faye Melman. Michelle Morales. Emily Ann Mysek. Huang T. Mai Win. James Bruce Norton. Orlandi Valencia Novak. Christine Chikaodili Okafor. Jacob Allen Otto. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his mother, Tina Otto, a member of the Dickinson College staff. Kira Louise Uzi. Eleanor Z.A. Strader Payson. Alexandra Perez. Anna Irene Peterson. Hang Pham. Ein Kim Pham. Victoria Fanthavong. Elizabeth Ann Pineo. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her mother, Tanya Pineo, and her father, Thomas Pineo, both class of 1992. <laughs> Mohammed Umar Usman Raja. <laughs> Garrett Valen Randall. Alice Castle Reichfeld. <laughs> Olin Henry Rhodes. <laughs> Jacob Ailes Robinson. <laughs> Clara Marie Roth. Catherine Ilsa Marie Ryan. Sarah Elizabeth Scarborough. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her father, Eric Scarborough, class of 1986. Catherine Rose Shore. Fabio Scaro. <laughs> Nadia Mariam Shahab Diaz. <laughs> Ali Siddiqui. <laughs> Kara Naxted Smith. Suik Son. <laughs> Stephen Sosa Soto. <laughs> Carolina Soto. <laughs> Alexandra Henry Wainwright Sawanek.
Nina Barrett Spelker. Lily Grace Tarwater. Sydney Irene Taylor. Hyo Trung Tran. Huang Hui Trang. Hien Trung Vu. Anthony Yushi West. Assisting in the awarding of the degree is his father, Christopher West, class of 1990, and his sister, Lucy West, class of 2018. Kishane Kareem Whitley. <laughs> David Zabriski Wilson. <laughs> Margaret Shea Wilson. <laughs> Assisting in the awarding of the degree is her mother, Andrea Shea Wilson, and her father, Matthew Wilson, both class of 1991. <laughs> Gavin Brady Wood. <laughs> Tao Shu. And our final graduate, Zhu Wei Yatzang.
If you could just be seated for a second. Um, I'm, I'm privileged to uh, chair the Board of Trustees, uh, and uh, in a little while I'm going to change jobs. Uh, but uh, I would be remiss uh, as the chair of the Board of Trustees if I didn't tell you that um, this will be uh, President Ensign's last uh, commencement. Uh, she's moving on uh, to a calling uh, at uh, her prior post, and we understand that, but we have very heavy hearts. Margie came in with this class, and uh, she's, she's going out uh, with this class. So on behalf of not just the board, but also on behalf of everybody uh, here at Dickinson, faculty, staff, students, perhaps uh, most of all, uh, let me give my thanks uh, to Margie for her exemplary service to Dickinson College. Margie will always be welcome uh, back here. She's having a tough time uh, these last couple days. I know that because I've been with her uh, extensively. But would you please join me in a round of applause and appreciation for Margie's service to Dickinson College. He's in trouble. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this incredible ceremony. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Is it the best? 